Good morning, everybody. It is January 29th, 2021. This is our Friday uh, COVID status meeting. And I'll start by reading our vision statement. The Ashland Public Schools cultivates the academic and social emotional growth of each student through a supportive, collaborative, innovative, and challenging environment. Students will develop into self-motivated, resilient, lifelong learners who embrace their role as responsible contributors to a global community. Uh, this meeting is not being recorded by WACA Cable TV, but Mr. Adams is recording it and it will be made available later. The order of business this morning, same as every Friday, call to order, opening procedures, agenda review and adoption. There will be time for public comment if there is any. The administrative items include the COVID-19 update, phases, models of learning, status of athletics, and then we will adjourn. Um, I will take the roll call and uh, you guys can please just confirm that you're okay with the order of business. Paul Kendall. Uh, here and yes. Kathy Bates. Here and yes. Mark Terry. Here and yes. And Aaron Williams uh, will not be able to join us this morning. Um, so I'll start. Um, I'm, I don't see any members of the public here, but I am going to uh, make the request anyway, just in case somebody's hiding. Is there anybody here? Steven's a member public? of the public too, so he's a resident. Who's that, Mike? No, no St Steven's a member of- Steven, you. Mike, yeah, there's there's a few of us, Audrey. <laughs> um, is there anybody here would like to offer public comment? Seeing none, uh, we will move it to you, Jim, to give us the update, please. Okay, I will get right into it this week. Um, first and foremost, um, it's not COVID related, but thank you to the entire Ashland community for the tremendous support uh, for the new David Mendez building project and the Ashland Public Safety building. So um, it's a tremendous day for the town that came together to, to really uh, make a statement that these two facilities are needed for our entire community. So I can't thank you enough for that. So, um, Here's, <clears throat> I should just shared the screen, should see it. Uh, as you can see, we're continually, um, in the last few weeks, are starting to steady decline down after those new year uh, cases. And our cases per 100,000 is at 2864. Our positivity rate is 4.35. Uh, based on that, met those metrics, the state as well as locally, we, we would be back in the yellow for the first time in quite a while. Um, which is great, uh, but that being said, more than more than anything, because we look at that data daily, uh, it's um, you know you can you can certainly see the trend line of even uh, student cases. Um, you know we're down to four since the twenty second. Um, so it's in in those cases again, we're finding are transmitting typically from household members to uh, other household members. That's where the majority of those. Um, cases are coming from. We have less kids in quarantine, 91. Um, I wrote over here, just so you get an idea, 36 of those kids are quarantined due to travel uh, and 55 are due to being close contacts within um, with someone who is positive, COVID positive. We have nine teachers quarantined. That's down from last week as well. Um, six of them are quarantined uh, because of being close contacts and three have symptoms. Um, so in essence, uh, looking at our data, um, there's no change in, uh, in learning models for next week uh, that I can see. Uh, all the numbers across um, the Tri-Valley League uh, have, have come down as well. Uh, so over that Metro West area uh, and, and the state, right? I mean, the state positivity rate went from 8% down to 5.5. So um, we're seeing that certainly a trend across the entire Commonwealth. So. Uh, Audrey or Ed, anything you want to add to the to the actual data that we're seeing? I don't have anything to add. And from an athletic frame of reference, we're playing Holliston this week, which is below us. Um, so in terms of the metrics as well, they're so they're performing better in the COVID metrics. Questions, comments? Maybe a, com a question for Jim and, and Stephen as it relates to athletics. Any word on how uh, how well things are going? How well um, people are adhering to the, the 
the protocols uh, given the sports that are active now and, and just how, what's the status of that? I will leave that to Steven because he's at every practice and as well as Amy, our trainer. So Steven, if you want to comment on that. Yeah, things, things have been going really well. Um, the kids and coaches have been working really hard, abiding by all of our policies and procedures. And, uh, you know, now we start the games against the other communities. So, um, so far, so good. Steven, are we losing any games because of other teams having quarantine, other schools? We are, yeah. Thanks for bringing that up. So we play Holliston um, this weekend, and Holliston has two of their teams are quarantined. So two of our teams do not have um, games this weekend. Um, and then actually we, we also play Norwood coming up on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday of next week. So um, that will also be before, I guess, we meet again. But, um, yeah, there are two teams that are quarantined from Holliston. So, Stephen, are, are we able to make a couple of those up at the end of the the, the the winter season? Right now, no, because we okay. rescheduled some of the teams that we missed. Um, I think, you know, one of the conversations that, you know, we can maybe have at some point is, you know, if, for instance, Holliston is, has two teams quarantined um, and there's another team in the league that could potentially pick up a game in their place, we'd in turn be playing more than one team per week. Um, you know, we could potentially do that, but we can't add it at the end because everybody has the same schedule. Okay. Yeah. So, so just as a foreshadowing, these will be a couple of the conversations we have um, next Thursday at our school committee meeting that Stephen's mentioning there about uh, there'll be a couple items with regard to athletics um, and COVID specific related, whether it's the fees, which we took off the last meeting schedule and moving it to this one, uh, playing other teams that may not be in that, that, um, that bubble, if you will, it's not a bubble, but our small group, large group. Um, and the last one would be uh, reminding me, Stephen, Oh, senior, uh, the ability to have um, senior parents come for a senior night um, activity. So those will all be on Thursday's schedule. Yeah. And, and, and Stephen, I, I was going to ask a question kind of related to what you did, what you two just discussed is for the ones that don't have a game because of the quarantine, what kind of things can we do? Even if it's, I don't know if it's meaningful to them just to be even, okay, so have our team come in and do a scrimmage against each other. Just something that I'm assuming that probably is a little bit more robust than the practices they've been doing, right? Just uh, to get something in. I don't know if that's possible or even, you know, something they would want to do, but just kind of understand that for when that happens, is there anything else we can do to kind of supplement a little bit? Yeah, certainly when we did that for one of the two teams, we brought referees in and them do a scrimmage. Um, the other team that was quarantined, unfortunately, we had to cancel a couple practices because of the snow the other night, but we'll get one in for them. So I think that is, unless you have questions, that's really where we are, where we stand with, with COVID in the district right now. No changes recommended for the Nothing. phases of learning, nope. no changes for athletics other than adapting when, um, when individual teams have to quarantine for now. Um, any, any questions on the chart or the process? Just couldn't see yellow for a change. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm sure Audrey and the nursing staff is, you know, decompressed a little bit. I wouldn't say fully, but a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and, and then we're going to have a February break, which I'm, right. I'm assuming we're going to get a, another leap, at least in the, uh, the, the travel policy uh, users, yeah. which uh, sounds good, but I know it would, uh, it's a lot of work for the them. nursing staff is, is going above and beyond there and, and tracking all that actively. So, you know, if there's 100 hundred people that fill that out, it's, it's still a lot of work for them. So sure is. Okay. Anything else? Nope. I'll take a motion to adjourn. I move. We have second. second. <laughs> All in favor? Kathy? Aye. Mark? Aye. Paul? Aye. And I for me. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see Thanks, you. everybody. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Thanks for being here. Thank you.